would say good morning, but technically it's almost the end of the day. We actually kind of got here late. So what is up guys? So we made it finally, made it back on the road. Okay, well technically that's a lie. Um, we're not back on the road yet. We're still trying to get the Jeep ready for a roof rack and some other other things. My family and I decided that we're going to go out camping, but I'm still waiting for my brother and my dad to get down here. The Jeep's already all set. Everything's packed and ready to go. I want to show you guys a couple things though. First of all, I got this. There we go. I got a new knife. So this is the Kabar BK2. It was my new investment. I have actually been looking at um, investing in a survival knife for a while. I want to learn like bushcrafting stuff, you know, like survival. If, they, if this is all I had to survive, could I do it? That kind of stuff. I just took some paracord and basically wrapped it around it. But I don't like it. Um, I mean, I like it. It's got a good grip. The reason I don't like this is because I found out this is the case it comes with. And uh, if I put it in the case, then the um, actual thing that holds it together doesn't clip on because it's too wide. And then also when I strung it, I accidentally, I accidentally cut the string a little too short. So like I can't pull my hand through it and hold on to the knife. So it kind of defeats the purpose. Also the case is kind of iffy. But um, I'm probably still going to use it because I actually ordered a new case for it. So, but I'm going to cut this off now and then mess with it later. My dad's taking the long way, I guess, or he doesn't know where he's going. Here, yeah, okay. Okay, change of plans. Apparently, and I kind of noticed this when I got here, but I thought it was just odd. The reason that there's a bunch of RVs parked here is because this is an RV campground, not a tent campground. And I'm fine because I have my Jeep, but my brother and my dad, um, they have a tent. And so <laughs> we're in a bit of a predicament. Also, we brought canoes, kayaks, and fishing poles, and we don't even know where we're going to set all that up. Well, fishing stuff. So this guy goes flying through here, pulling a... Um, a boat. You <laughs> look those guys, you can tell they're mad. Because they're fishing and all of a sudden everything's on the floor. Yeah. Cause you just, you don't, you but know. before the sun goes down, you want to just call and be like, there was a mistake, can we no, find a... This will work because we can kayak over that area. Okay. Yeah. But, just, and not more. get not get trampled by one of those guys. <laughs> okay, anyway, now that I'm back, what I want to show you guys, <laughs> I took it off. Here's the BK9. Um, this is the case it comes with. It's like this plastic tactical case. Um, I'm actually not a huge fan of it, but um, it's, it's a nice case though. I, I respectfully disagree with it. I, I would prefer to have something that's a little bit easier to pull out because the thing is, is right here. You can't just pull it out like that. You actually have to put your thumb there, snap it out, and I started hurting my thumb after I was done playing with it. Other than that, I can't really make any complaints about this. Even the things that I can complain about, such as this, they have so many aftermarket options for, and most of it's just preference. I mean, I really, there's a lot of people who really prefer this. The fact that it locks in place makes it a lot better for carrying. You don't have to worry about it falling out. And then also a lot of people prefer it to free hang. And then a lot of people also just prefer it to free hang like this. So when they're, you know, walking around or whatever, it just free hangs. I don't prefer that, but that's just personal preference. It's really cool though, and I want to learn to use it. I just walked straight into a spider web.
little sucker is a beast. This little thing, cut like a whole tree with the dumb thing. Just, just whack it down. I kind of got a little bit, not so much of a blister, but kind of a callus from all that, because I think that has more to do with just my lack of experience and also just everything else having to do with me never using tools lately, because I usually sit on the couch and do nothing. got a blister and it popped it and I know for a fact there's gonna be someone coming on here being like you're doing it wrong there's a better way to do it there's a faster way to do that and I'm sure there is but I don't have any experience with this I'm just trying to figure it out so I think the really dumb thing is even after all that, like this blade is still sharp. <laughs> it's sharp and it's okay. Even the point is still like, I could totally kill someone with this still. This thing is a beast. Apparently, it's illegal to put a tent there because it's not a tent area. I mean, I can see why it's against a rule, but I don't see how that's illegal. That's just weird. I guess because uh, you can't pitch a tent in a non-tent pitching place, we're trying to see if we can move, so trying to find a new place. I lost the glasses because I can't see anything. The sun's going down and... Can't, can't go around in this. Come on. Hey, hey. This way. This way. Come on. <laughs> Only Jeeps. Only Jeeps have rights. Come on, Kenny. The game warden and uh, the local the camp people. Warden. Is he the game warden? No. That's what dad said. What, he was the sheriff? He means the park ranger. Park ranger? Yeah, game dad, warden. Dad called him the game warden. The police, the guy who works for some kind of police department type thing basically worked it out and we basically just moved spots. So. so now we do have a place to put the tent and so we're legal.